Hello, Zafir's community, and welcome back to another World of Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be having a tank review on the Roger Dodger E75 TS. This is one of the brand new premium things that just came into the game. And this is the Roger Dodger. It's basically an E75 TS. It is a tier 8 German premium heavy tank. It You get this tank when you have the season pass at stage 100 okay you must have a season pass to get this tank or you can just ride out and buy this tank but it's better just to buy it with a season pass but anyway so i'm going to be comparing to the roger uh i'm going to be comparing the roger dodger to the tiger 2 which is the tech tree variant and i'm also going to be comparing to the low because the luva is the best comparison to the roger dodger and premium things definitely best comparison at all together so all three of these things are tier 8 also all tanks play at the tier 10 i do want to mention that now the tiger 2 is actually the lightest with 70 tons is actually a light tank a pretty light tank compared to the other two which to low is blowing the other tanks out of the water at 90 tons but remember 80 tons and this thing has the Roger Dodger has the best horsepower best horsepower per ton forward speed and reverse speed this combination right here makes this tank really good at ramming very good and I love doing it but it all three of these German heavy tanks have 20% fire chance track rotation stocked it really does it's 26 degrees which is Better than the low, but worse than the Tiger 2. Terrain resistance is really help out with the tank during mobility part. Better than the low, which has weird terrain resistances, which is very weird. Turn speed is slow, so you, if a light tank gets behind you, you're pretty much dead because you can't really keep up. I mean, you can a little, but not if like a snake bite or like a really fast light tank. Because you just turn very slow. It feels like a Panzer 5.4. If you ever drove a Panzer 5.4. Now, all three of these tanks get a 10.5 centimeter gun. As you can see, all 10.5 centimeter guns are not the same. Now, the Tiger 2 is known to having the best accurate gun. Best accurate gun on a heavy tank. And I'm pretty sure that still stands, if I remember correctly. So, reload. Tiger 2 has the best reload, aim time, accuracy, and moving dispersion while turning the tank. But, it also has the worst rotating the turret dispersion, which I was actually surprised at. Which, yeah, I really thought the Tiger 2 would have the best of all of these. But did have the best of these. But anyway. Now, the low has, the Luva has the best gun elevation with its amazing 38 degrees of gun depression, uh, gun elevation, and 10 degrees of gun depression. Now, Tiger 2 and the low both hit for 320, but the Roger Dodger hit for 360, which is a better alpha damaging. Penetration is pretty much all the same, except for the low that has a little bit more. Premium rounds are about the same like the standard so not too much you're going to recognize and splash is all the same because sync caliber um shell velocity is very much the same except for here except for your premium which is 1375 meters per second and 1438 so the low shots fly very nicely but this is very nice for shell velocity anyway now dpm remember the low hit i mean not the low the roger dodger actually hits for 360 so the dpm is actually the same on the low and on the tiger uh, on the roger dodger so yeah but the tiger 2 has the best dpm so when you're picking in between the guns you're like, okay, do I want the higher alpha or the better rate of fire? And more ammo. 
and better potential damage. We choose between the low and the Roger Dodger because this is 360 alpha, this is 320. So yeah. Now, a lot of people know the armor turret on the low is actually pretty weak. It's pretty weak. It's a weak point. It's not a very reliable weak point, but it's still a weak point. It's 120 millimeters in the front, but with the Riser Dodger, you get 230 millimeters. And it's also rounded like the Luma's turret. It's 120 at the side too. Not flat like the Tiger II, but it's rounded. So that will make it pretty good at bouncing shots. Now the whole armor actually sucks. It's the worst out of this comparison at 120 at the front and 80 at the side, 80 at the back. But this low has 100 at the side. View range 390, which ain't bad for a tier 8 Haven tank. It just pales in comparison to the low and the Tiger 2. But the hit points really suck at 1500. And concealment sucks at 0.06. And Silver Boost and XP Boost are pretty much the same. Just like a regular premium tank at tier 8. Regular 50%, regular 10% XP Boost. So yeah. That's the tank compared to the Tiger 2 in the low. So let's actually see what it can do in gameplay. Alright, so we ended up on Sand River Knight. And we are also bottom tier because there's a Progeno 65 right there. So... It's also encounter, and also I forgot to mention that the Roger Dodger had lights on it. The lights really stand out on the tank, darker the map is. If you're like on a regular map where it's like, like daytime, you won't see these lights. I mean, you'll see them, they're not as bright as they are now, but darker the map, better the lights will be. But anyway, as you can see, the Roger Dodger is actually going up this hill pretty fast because it's 16 horsepower per ton. So, yeah. Now, this tank, because it has really good horsepower per ton, I I just like rushing. It's something I gotta work on because for some reason, I really like to rush in this tank. Just rush because of how fast this heavy tank is. Well, how good it is to get up to its whole power per ton. 45 kilometers ain't bad either. So, yeah. Also, I want to tell you what kind of equipment I'm using on this tank. So, the equipment I'm using on this tank is a Gotten Rammer, vertical stabilizers, and a crew vents. So, and also my crew is... Has repairs, dead eye, smooth ride, off road driving, six cents, controlled impact, brothers in arms, mentor, and it's training camouflage. Okay, so right now I'm trying to snipe these tanks out in the distance. There's a 32 trying to get a shot between this Borsic. There's a stone cold, but missed the stone cold. So yeah, it's this tank is okay at sniping because of the really good shell velocity but you got to remember you have 0.38 accuracy and yeah also i do want to mention that this tank is pretty good at side scraping because i did side scrape against tier 8 9 and 10s and block over 11,000 damage in this tank i did forget to save the screenshot so oops but yeah, I did block a lot of damage by side scraping. And it was fun. Very fun. I could have blocked more, but they kept shooting high explosive at me to kill me, so that didn't really work. So, right now I'm trying to pin this Cheetan's Capolar, but I keep missing. There's a certain point where you can actually pin, which is very weak on the Cheetan's Capolar. But I keep missing that spot, and I'm trying to hit the... 48 patents one, but I actually hit it. The tortoise actually pins me. Oh, well, now it's up my gun, and I don't know if he was actually the one that pinned me. And I missed that shot again on the cupola of the cheating. So right here, I'm using my gun depression and trying to use my turret armor against these tier 10 and tier 9 heavy tanks. Remember, you have 230 millimeters of armor, and you have a gun mantlet, but 
when you're fighting against tier 10, they can just load premium rounds and just go through your turn armor. So, all you have to do is just try to make them miss your turret, like jump back and forth, so they can't aim for your cupola on top, or aim for like your cheats of your turret. So yeah. And right there, we're actually going to pin straight through the torches, it's weak point right there. And there's the E5 I really want to take out. Let's see if I can actually take them out. And I don't have the gun depression. Now, if I actually had the low gun depression of 10 degrees, I could really work the, um, this ridge line. Especially if I was in the low, I could use the 10 degrees of gun depression that tank had, but I wouldn't be able to use the turn armor because the turn armor on the low sucks. So, it depends. Do you want like a... Now, the low versus the Roger Dodger. The Roger Dodger is like a heavy tank. It's sort of like a heavy tank. Okay, it is classified as a, a heavy tank, but it's like a heavy medium tank. You want to play this tank kind of like a medium tank, but also sort of like a heavy tank. You don't want to be in the front line all of the time. Like, right now, it's fine, because I'm using my gun depression. I'm using my turn armor. But when you get onto, like, town maps, and it's just... You can't use your gun depression, you do not want to be in the front line, because your armor will not hold up. Especially your frontal plate. Because it's only 120 millimeters thick, which is about 240, 238 millimeters effectiveness. People can just load premium rounds, and you have a giant lower plate, which is very, very weak on this tank. So, try to play it like a heavy medium tank. Also, when you're top tier in this tank, which being top tier in this tank is actually really, really nice ram things be aggressive because it's just fun to be very aggressive in this tank and right now i'm trying to kill the super conquer but there's an invisible wall that's stopping me there's an invisible wall if i <laughs> i was trying to get around the super streamer and get over there and push the super conquer and hopefully the 60 dp would come up there with me but nope this stupid invisible wall stopped me so right now, it's just cleanup time against this me uh, these two mediums and the light tank. So yeah, we bought over three thousand damage, dealt three thousand damage, and we used our armor really nicely. And also, the forty-two rounds of ammunition that you get on this tank. How much potential damage did I say you get? You get fifteen thousand one hundred twenty potential damage which ain't a lot it's not really a lot and somehow I just bounced off of LTTB so you can't really carry like a whole bunch of premium and a whole bunch of high explosive you gotta like conserve your shells as you can see I'm running out of standard I had how many standard shells did I have on this tank I had 25 standard shells and I only have 3 left and I've pinned 10 shots. And some of those have been ricochets or just barely miss, barely misses. So, a lot of your ammo does count in this tank. It's not like the low where you can carry a whole bunch of AP and a whole bunch of premium and a whole bunch of high explosive and you'll be fine. That's not how this tank works. you got to conserve your ammo. Because you only have 42 rounds. And you have a potential damage of 15,000. And you fire 4.4 rounds per minute when you're stock. I think it's 4.4. Uh, let me double check that. Yeah, 4.44 when you're stock. So you would be able to fire all your rounds if you fired non-stop in about 10 and a half minutes. If you were completely stock, you had no gun rammer, no brothers in arms, no crew vents, no nascent consumable. If you were completely stock, and it's fired non-stop, you would take 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes to fire all your shells. 
which is pretty bad. No, actually less than that, about nine or ten minutes. So that's not even that good. And hello, Centurion. I mean, Atomic. I was going to say Centurion action did, but this is actually Atomic. But now here's the lower plate. <laughs> I knew he was aiming for my lower plate. Like, look how big my lower plate when I actually go over there. Well, I guess I'm not going to go over there. Yeah, look how big that thing is. That's huge. That is a giant lower plate. Why does this thing have such a big lower plate? So, anyway. Let's just skip to the post-game stats. Okay, that was a victory of for 94,000 silver made, 3,000 damage dealt, and almost 4,000 blocks and top of the lead rewards. So, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to slash face because why would you not? And beats out. See ya.